Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run, and this is going to be a fun one because we are going into taper time. Who are you? This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. And you asked for it. Oh, this God. is Jarrett back, back with Believe in the Run. By popular demand. What happened is he, you guys know he likes the Costco, so it was like a two for one. It was like one of those packages where you didn't really need the extra one, but you got it because it comes and he bulk. has packaged together. In bulk. And he has two Costco sweatshirts, pro probably more. Yeah. So I think this is it. We might be done with him after yeah, this. Yeah, I am running out of uh, of clothing. <laughs> Do you have pants that match that? I don't. I need to get oh, some. Okay. I have I have the slides though, and I actually have two pairs of them. I Did, bought a backup oh. pair for when this goes. I they dude, they only go on they they sell them like once a year. Wait, can you buy one sweatshirt, or do you have to buy five sweatshirts? One. Oh wow. Okay. They yeah. probably don't even let you get the five. You I said, thought that's the only way it works. He said, "I need, I need to get that." It's a, it's an interesting definition of need. <laughs> I need to get a Costco. Yeah, I Co need it. Costco slides, Rob. There's no other way that you can relax. They were like twelve bucks, also. So, I mean, of talk course. about a deal. Of course, they were. I feel like Robbie's got something on his mind. What's up? Oh, I, I, I have a bunch of. I mean, this could be a long podcast. Uh -huh. I have a whole list of things. All right, and that's not, and we have to recap your, your the cherry weekend, blossom, which is most important. But I will tell you this: you know how I always get caught buying stuff from Instagram ads. Yeah, guess who got suckered? Uh, no, oh. no, even no. worse than Instagram. Oh. Worse, than I have Instagram. a feeling it was uh, Meg. QVC. Uh, pretty much a television ad. Wait, he's blaming this on me. We were watching television the night before Cherry Blossom in our hotel room together the same time. Did he was we just were? as influenced. No. And this commercial for pretzels.com came on. <laughs> First of all, who <laughs> nabbed that URL? All right. like, that's, a, that's a steal. <laughs> okay. So they come on with pretzels. Continue. And I'm like, mm, those look good. Dude. And he goes, yeah, they do look good. <laughs> So Megan goes to the website and she goes, oh, they got all these flavors. Wait, before you, wh wh I just went to the website okay. and here's what the first <laughs> message is. Pretzel fanatics are freaking out. <laughs> with that. There's no such thing. Yeah, we're carb loading now. We're going into carb loading. There's season. no such thing as so a read some, fanatic. Read some they of the, 100% are. Read some of the flavors because we went fanatic. We need to know, was Meg freaking out? Because this way we would know if she is a fanatic or not. We're, like, Did you see it? And you were she, like, was okay. she was calm. She was calm. She wasn't flipping that chair in the corner in the hotel room? <laughs> no, that, not this time. <laughs> that one's right. bolted down, by the way. All right. um, yeah. So read some of the flavors, though. Uh, okay. I'll, so there's your traditional mm -hmm. like sea salt caramel or caramel whichever you prefer buttered cinnamon sugar twist that actually sounds pretty good mm -hmm. See, oh, i think we got happened. that one did yeah. we get that one yeah, i don't did. remember now uh, megan ordered like several different flavors <laughs> garlic parm loaded nacho sour cream and onion honey maple salt meats vin that does sound good. salt meats vinegar is one we got yeah a apple strudel chipotle cheddar you're telling me you wouldn't have gone on here and after a few glasses and of here's wine, a, here's like, here's yeah. a, I mean, it does sound pretty good. Here I'll was the best that. part. Man goes, oh, the prices are pretty reasonable. <laughs> I mean, so, well, I was like 12 bucks for a whole thing of pretzels. It's great. I know people get like bought into <laughs> like items that are useful around the house or like you can cook things or stuff like that. Who Who's buying from infomercials food? I mean, <laughs> I got to tell you room. something. You know what I felt the biggest sucker after we saw this commercial? <laughs> They, you saw chips.com? No, they have a licorice. They have a it's licorice, licorice website com. too. <laughs> but anyway, okay, that's even more useless. There, we we so got the pretzels, and I think that we wouldn't have been as influenced if taper if we weren't going into carb load season. <laughs> if, uh, I, if I hadn't been drinking, let's be honest. <laughs> Did you get any of the dips with it? Because it actually no. they sound amazing. Chair, you'd be all over this blueberry yeah. bourbon pecan dip. Dude, just give me good. mustard, and I'm good with. They have pretzels. a mustard. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm down with right? that. They have the beer uh, cheese. Wait, how do they have so? It's actually endless. How many flavors? It they took have. us a while to pick them out. You don't yeah. think if you have pretzels.com, you're gonna have like <laughs> all the flavors? Yeah. You better. You better I mean, have all. You would have to come up with other products too, like a yeah. pretzel rub. Dude, yeah. they do. I'm not gonna lie; they actually all do sound amazing, see, and they look pretty good see, too, right? They're arriving on Thursday, so I'll let you. I'm have about. Some. I'm about to start freaking out. 
Uh, yeah. So I, I, I feel like that was a victory for at least empathy. Like Megan should have some empathy for me. Yeah. At this point. So Pretzels.com. Come on. How are they not a sponsor? We just, <laughs> they should be. <laughs> no. I know. Speaking of which, we do need to talk about a couple before we dive into uh, okay. the millions of things that Robbie wants to talk about. Okay. And First o- up octopi. being <laughs> Lagoon Pillows, our favorite, which mm-hmm. Thomas forgot. On his I did. Trip for, down to I, DC. I for, forgot Thomas. it, and it was very upsetting. Um, I don't know what you know what it's like to sleep in your own tears. Mm, that but. hotel room must have been a disaster <laughs> after pretzels <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Fanatics <laughs> for getting pillows. Yeah. yeah, we didn't bring our sound machine. There was no uh, lagoon pillow. Oh, you didn't. Bring sound, sound machine, machine would have been amazing because people were drag racing and At trucks were backing up to park. I guess I don't know what. They I were think doing. there was a truck backing up for three hours. I think that there was one truck that went on the wrong way on a DC street, and you know how they're all one way. Yeah. So he was like doing like Austin, like the Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. two feet at a time. Yeah. To get all the way at the end. <laughs> nice. Anyway, all that to say, we would have slept a lot better if we had brought our Lagoon pillows. And if you're not familiar with Lagoon, they have custom pillows. So you can go onto their website. You can go to lagoonsleep.com slash believe. There's a button on there that says take the quiz. It takes like two seconds. You fill out a bunch of information about how you sleep. Are you a hot sleeper? Do you like soft pillows, hard pillows? Yeah, all this. Stuff. And then it. It populates the best pillow for you. And, um, what, and guess what? If you don't agree, you can always pick a different pillow. <laughs> yeah, but you no, you agree. They're right. I would. You take the quiz them, yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, they're doing a special thing right now for our listeners where you can get a free travel bag and free shipping with the code DROP. So go over to lagoonsleep.com slash believe. Take the quiz, find out your pillow, and then use the code DROP at checkout. Yeah, I think that's even better than like a percentage off because you're getting that free shipping and a case. Also, you'll remember to bring your pillow with you when you travel. Right, I would have. That's important. All right. And don't forget to get the special um, hazelnut edition Robbie smelling. Oh, yeah, that's common. Pillow cover. (laughs) Yeah. I I actually have, I had a little bit of, there's, I didn't. I made coffee this morning, so I did it in the office, and there was a little bit of graham cracker coffee left over from Christmas, and <clears throat> it tastes pretty good still. Wait, graham cracker coffee? Oh, yeah. I messaged Featherston about it, and she was like, I need this in my life. I thought maybe you were just telling me like you left some graham crackers in the bottom no, of the coffee No, it's graham mug. cracker infused coffee. So that's weird to me that Feathers would want that, because that would be like graham cracker on graham cracker, because she's already eaten a graham cracker. You Why do you need the extra flavor of graham Why cracker? Why not? Can you ever have enough? Yeah. I think you can. That coffee is old. He does, you don't like graham crackers like some of us do. do you think you, I care about dude, old coffee? you need fresh coffee beans. Yeah, you don't dude, think you're I'm making fine. a new bag? You guys like, are all making me want to go down to Starbucks and I know. grab, oh, like, grab a another coffee. coffee. Uh, yeah. Second no. coffee day. Just drink Jared's. Yeah. It's, all it's right, right, so there. Lagoon Pillows? Yeah. Yeah. Jared gets gross cold candy coffee. From Starbucks, if I'm going to like a nice coffee place. What did you get? A I, grande iced coffee. iced coffee. That's kind of boring. Uh, yeah. I, I figured you would get like a banana caramel. Split. Thomas is getting the biggest <laughs> mocha they have. I do that, like that's that. accurate. That's 100% accurate. I, do I like know. Mocha. Yeah, wow. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and then Thomas and I, by the way, we're training for obviously Boston, but also the uh, Golden Trail Series at, with Solomon where we're going to Broken Arrow Sky Race in uh, Lake Tahoe, which we just found out, by the way. Uh, found out what? That the elevation <laughs> of the 1K is not just a one. Like, we were like, we could do the 1K because yeah. that's, you know, 0. 0.62 mm-hmm. uh, miles. So it's the it's the vertical kilometer is the, it's a kilometer of elevation. but it's Over a, three miles. Over three miles. Well, oh, that's way worse. Yeah. yeah. And not going to do that and then run the, yeah. the next day again. I still think Taylor Bodine's going to do that. I think so. He's, oh, that's fine. Because he's crazy. Yeah, he's he's strong, mountain strong. Yeah, yeah. He, that's he actually runs in the Rocky Mountains. But you can do the eleven k. Um, I think a lot of their races are sold out. But, the races are cool and stuff, yeah. but the coolest part's going to be we're going to have like a cabin situation where you're going to be able to come over. Robbie will flip some dogs, maybe some bergs. Oh, are you in charge of the uh, grill? I was like imagining myself like wrestling with people's <laughs> pets. Uh, I didn't even know. I was like, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't. Are but, you a grill master? That doesn't. I don't know if that's your vibe or not. I just grilled out last. Okay. What, last okay. night. Two nights. You ago. see his mustache? Good to know. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure. That thing. That thing can keep the smoke in it. Yeah. Oh. No, I do love grilling. I've tried to do it. We I, we have a charcoal grill, so sometimes that's annoying, but it is. But you know, it's kind of the same thing, like. I have one of those gas little stove things that you can sit out that's like a gas fireplace mm-hmm. on your porch. 
not quite the same as having log burning. And I know it's a pain in the ass to get the logs and do the stuff. Same thing with charcoal. Yeah. It's just better. And I have a starter that, you know, you put pour the charcoal in and it starts it burning pretty quickly. So it doesn't take that much longer. It's like 15 minutes. Yeah. But it's still not as easy as. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. No one has to worry about that if they come over to your guy's cabin right. in Lake Tahoe because Robbie's going to be manning probably a gas grill. I'll do it. I'll be there. Yeah. Um, but if you want to learn more about the series, because there's not just the one event in Lake Tahoe, there's some throughout the whole year. You can go to goldentrailseries.com. Just follow Solomon Running. They post about it all the time. And then Golden Trail Series on Instagram as well. Cool. Sounds good. All right. So you guys did the Cherry Blossom 10 mile. People kept t- uh, using that at. C U B C C U C B or something. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I, I thought that was like some sort of club challenge. I didn't even know what people. It were sounds more about. like a community college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't hate that. That's it's, our Instagram. It's a handle. credit union cherry, cherry blossom. blossom. Yeah. So I had no idea leading up to it what what all these people were talking about, and then I realized it was the, <laughs> the cherry blossom. It's kind of crazy because it feels like a hometown event because there's so many people that we know from the Baltimore running community there Mm -hmm. also the DC running community, but then you have like pros there. So it's like, that is cool. It's like a really interesting environment. That's probably, is that the nearest race to us? That is probably the most elite has the elite. Most definitely. Maybe. Yeah. That will be close. 45 minutes, about an hour away. Well now it takes like an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, right. We were at dinner on, Saturday night before the race and like I'm Emily, showing Megan a, a I'm like wow check out this photo of Emily Durgin and I'm like she looks fit she looks ready to roll and, and she walks in the front she, of the right. restaurant <laughs> and I was like turn around and he's nice. like what and he turns around and he's like who's that <laughs> well it's Emily Sisson <laughs> yeah but she she was dressed like a human yeah she was fully clothed yeah <laughs> the pie in the Instagram account. She was not. She yeah. was in like running clothes. Yeah. I mean, barely. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. But yeah, so it's a, it's a cool race. It's also really nice logistically. It's so easy. Um, we stayed overnight in DC at a hotel that was like. The Grand Hyatt? Yeah. Is that what it is? Very close to the start line. So like you get up, you run over to the start. Yeah. And Point eight to get to the start. Walk into your corral. It's very nice. And I was fortunate enough to have the legend, Dina Castor want to do my uh workout with me because i was doing pre-boston stuff so five miles easy and then drop it down to marathon pace for the last five miles Mm -hmm. and we ran into rizzo who is promoting the la olympic okay not the rat i think (laughs) rizzo the rat i was like that's pretty awesome uh well i mean i love rizzo showed up at the or apparently he was at the new york shakeout but you remember how big that was and then he came to the orlando shake out for the trials Mm -hmm. their base la is basically sending him all over the country to get people excited about the la marathon leading up to the olympics and uh like he's a hype man yeah pretty much oh really he's going around and getting people excited this is 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 he with asics no okay no i think he's with the city of los angeles really yeah so he decided he wanted to run with us well i kind of grabbed him and said hey rizzo because like I didn't see him until we were actually on the move. And Ryan Haynes started out with us, but then he saw some Believe Run Club people and was like, beep, beep, got to go. And uh, yeah, it was it was sick. We we ran the whole thing together. It was phenomenally fun. The weather was perfect. Meg, how was your race? Because like you weren't racing either. No, I uh, followed the plan. I mean, pretty close. Did five easy, five at marathon pace. They were a little bit faster. A little hot. Them. But, well, ours was a but, little hot too. Um, but it was really fun and it was also really weird to be running a race, not at full effort for the first half, like just out there running and being like, okay, this is the pace you're supposed to do right now. Are you yelling at people? I can beat you. you." (laughs) No, but I will say it was really fun to run the second half, like a minute faster per mile because you just pass people like very quickly. Yeah. And that was fun. I will say that. I've run that race a few times and this was by far my favorite running of it. Maybe because I didn't care about, uh, like I wasn't concerned with time since it was a workout, Mm -hmm. but I even, it wasn't like that bad of a time. And then, um, it was perfect weather. Yeah. The weather was perfect. The people were like, I seeing our photos from the event, um, 
like I can't like you were smiling the whole time. I was smiling. Dina was smiling. Uh, we ended up running into um, Ashley Mateo at the end, and she was. Uh, I guess she started behind us, and then um, she had a great day. Yeah, yeah, she had a good day. I think it was a PR for yep. it was two minutes. Yeah, two nice. minutes. Wow. Yeah, on a ten miler. But and the course, even though the cherry blossoms were gone. It's still beautiful. Gorgeous course. Yeah. It's like probably one of my favorite courses. If you get a chance to run this race, definitely run the race. It's it's beautiful. There's someone, tons of faster bass. Someone was supposed to. Yeah. I I did had it. a chance to run the race, yeah. but had you? It didn't your wife have a <clears throat> bib as well? Uh, yeah, she did. So why didn't she run? You know, we've been dealing with our sickness, getting you're, over. So it. you're still sick? I'm not still sick. So. Basically, after we recorded the podcast last week, Three I herpes. went to <laughs> back to patient first, and there was no shaming this time, so I, they must have heard and understood. <laughs> right. They, they got the, the podcast. Um, I had an x-ray done, and they gave me uh, antibiotics. Um, they listened to my chest, said everything sounded good and all that stuff. So I was like, I could run Cherry Blossom or... I can kind of save myself for Boston. And yeah. as much as I was bummed to not run with my BFF Thomas, mm-hmm. you know, which is what we do, um, I decided that there was bigger stuff in the horizon. And that would have been my first time running Cherry Blossom. Oh, man. I know. So, yeah, such a good day, too. Um, Next year. Yeah. So, I mean, Next I'm, year, it's going to sleep. <laughs> here, <right>? Yeah. <laughs> I, it was a tough decision, but I'm glad I did it. And, it's smart. Yeah. Did you run at all? I didn't. I have not run since last week. So I'm gonna try tomorrow. So like, did miles. you make a promise ring to Boston that you wouldn't? <laughs> I I, wouldn't sl- run I slid until into their day. DMs. They haven't replied though, <laughs> and they blocked me. <laughs> but you know, they know, so they saw it. <laughs> I like it. Mm. Yeah. Um, see, yeah, I went on a long run. Did we give you FOMO? A little bit. I mean, we tried. I had FOMO. Okay. Obviously, yeah, everyone I, was there. Obviously, I knew it was a good time, but we actually were more low key than normal. Like we didn't, we didn't yeah, do no a shakeout shake run. Out, yeah. We right. didn't meet people for dinner. We, like, it was funny. We came back to the hotel, and it was probably five thirty. No, it was like quarter to seven. It was probably quarter to seven, mm-hmm. and the other the A sixteen was getting ready to go out to dinner. They oh had a wow! Pretty big group there. Yeah. We're having to split restaurants. Their group was so big. Jeez. Okay. And um, they're like, oh, you guys going out to get something to eat? We're like, no, we, we're already done. We're going to bed. Right. Yeah. Okay. Going to buy some pretzels. <laughs> yeah. And then things Little got today. crazy. <laughs> Let's start freaking out. Hi, this is Jarrett with your first check-in. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going completely off the rails today and giving you some secrets, tips, and histories from my favorite place, Costco. First up, Keep an eye on the price tags. If it has an asterisk, that means it's not being reordered. It could be a seasonal item or Costco may be done with it. Who knows if it's coming back? So stock up if you're a fan because it will be gone. And if the price ends in 97 cents, it's on clearance priced well below the original cost. And it can be different at different locations. It's a great deal. Check it out. Grab it. Oh, I did... So it was my kid's birthday party this past weekend. Went to Dave and Buster's. Again? Oh. He was sick the last time. I feel like he's had a month of birthday. Because well, you had you were sick on one of us. He was sick, uh was I? Yeah, remember you had the you like were singing happy birthday to him on Easter? Oh, that was a whole different thing. That was that was because that was the first time we were at my parents' house since it was his birthday. Sorry. <laughs> so that was like just with my family. Okay. Um but this was supposed to be his birthday party with his friends that he was sick for. So we went to Dave and Buster's. Did you dunk yourself in bleach time. afterwards? Uh, dude, that place is crazy. Yeah. yeah. If you're a germ person, don't recommend. I know. Thomas wears <laughs> gloves when he goes. <laughs> you didn't that time we shot that video, though. Uh, that's because it was empty. And then what I did afterwards is I dipped my hand in acid. <laughs> <laughs> why did you no, why but that's did you, such a gamble before boston like you're yeah, really that, rolling that, the that's dice actually there. a good point i didn't well, even he had think a sick that. kid so i mean it's he was already it's playing all, with yeah. fire but why didn't you go and take him when he was sick because it's yeah. already disgusting <laughs> Ooh, and you you could, i would have if you if you could have got off the couch <laughs> stop crying and play the video yeah. game <laughs> um but i hit a bonus on uh, one of the jurassic park ticket games and that was cool and why is Jurassic Park keep coming up? 
don't know. We watch I, Jurassic Dinosaurs Park. are everywhere. It's a pretty popular thing yeah. in culture. I, I need to know, did you play any coin pushers? I didn't. I'm not a big fan of the coin pushers. Oh, those oh are good. My. Those are like slots. Yeah. yeah. It's just scam- <laughs> That's like scam- anxiety. <laughs> it is a, a game of anxiety. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging over the edge. Will it fall? Will it not? Yeah. That's because you're not good at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Because <laughs> it takes skill. It does. you got to know where to drop it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, and then uh, I went on a long run, 12-mile long run on Sunday morning. And do you remember the guy who, oh, yeah, I already asked you this, but when we were in New York City last summer and I ate that salt tab off the ground, so I was yes. feeling so horrible. Yes. It's like the worst long run I ever had. In Central Park. Yeah, in Central Park. After the mile. Uh, no, it was after like a shakeout run. Oh, I thought, oh yeah, it was a I shakeout run. I don't know what that was for. It was for the Brooklyn Mile. We did a longer okay. shakeout run than the actual event. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And so I, and you got lost. I got lost. So he told, so anyways, this guy, this guy saw me at like mile 13 of my long run and I was dying. And then his name's Charles. And he was like, you want me to run with you and help me finish out strong? So that was like, saved my life that day. So he's, he told me he was in town in Baltimore and we, I met him, I met up with him, uh, for, for a long run on Sunday. And he said that when, during that time, uh, when we were doing the shakeout run, he said he saw you when you were lost, but he just thought you were like, you were on your phone, I think trying to find out where, yeah. where you were. And he didn't want to like say anything. Cause he was like, Oh, you're just doing your own thing. You're talking on the he phone. He could have done a double savior <laughs> day. <laughs> he could have. Yeah. But he said he saw, he did saw you. He saw you up in that corner of central park where there's a dude. I have no idea how I got to where I was. <laughs> I was like the furthest place you could be from. It was supposed to be a three mile run. I turned it into like a eight mile. Yeah. You might say your direction is good. It, it's not. Mm. It could be when you're away, mm. out of state. No, I in DC. I, I'm a, I was a rock star this weekend, in which DC? is weird because yeah. normally south of Baltimore City, Thomas's direction goes haywire. Well, DC is the worst city in the world for Dude, it mapping. Works with my brain. I can. Maybe I can figure that out. You've got the DMV, but then once you head outside of that, it's like your compass. No, I, I'm. I'm really good. There's two places I'm bad. Central Park. In Austin, 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 Texas. Yeah. Yeah. They might be related to the percentage of, of people on drugs around me. That could be. <laughs> and that you, off my magnet. And that you're on them. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I posted on my Instagram that I thought I had found a, a quarter $100. of a hundred dollar bill. Wait, was it fake? Was it Monopoly money? So oh. if you look, if you look at the... Dude, someone's um, trolling Robbie. So if you look closely, there's text. Somebody pointed it out. Can you see this, man? It says this is not oh. this is not legal. It is to be used for motion props. Mm. So for I guess it was from a movie. Yeah, uh, that's what they do on fake money. But it looked every bit yeah. real. It did. Yeah, I wouldn't have questioned it. You know, usually when you see a hundred, that's fake. You can tell right away. And it felt pretty real. To I don't me. see a lot so, of fake hundreds. So here's the deal, though. That person. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> was throwing that into some other stack of bills. Did I, did that I, could be. Yeah. It could be. Did I ever tell you what the shakedown? I got to see an FBI shakedown at a job I was at. Uh, I was working at Nordstrom. Uh, oh, yeah. You know how they return, no questions asked. Right. So this woman who worked there, her boyfriend was printing out $100 bills. Nice. Buying stuff at Nordstrom. Solid. Coming back, returning them and getting cash. I got you. I got you. For his return. Smart. For one time. <laughs> no, he did. He did it uh, enough times that yeah. they set up a sting operation, mm. and and nailed him. But One think about many. that. Yeah. Were they walking around like in disguises, and then when he came in, or it was kind of cool because it was pretty much like they had a dude on the floor that looked like he was shopping. Oh, nice. They had people awesome. uh, in the back security area, and because that's a federal crime, like, yeah, you, you don't get that's the, Secret Service. Yeah, stuff. you didn't. He didn't get the, like a little hand slap and like go back yeah. out to your car like handcuffs and everything. Like, so it, the guy who was shopping, they're like freeze. The guys came out of the back. They surrounded the cash register. That guy was there. They took the evidence. They had cops rolling in regular uniforms. Yeah. Like they swarmed the dude. Nice. And then he got hustled out. So I like it. The moral of the story there is just, if he would have quit two times earlier, he would have been, yeah, it's like fine. if, if breaking bad, he stopped after yeah. season two. It well, that's a good show. That was yeah. a, that was another way they caught somebody because there was an employee that was returning stuff 
or uh-huh. doing fake returns. But instead of taking, so if it was thirty nine dollars and fifty eight cents, yeah. he was just taking the thirty nine dollars mm-hmm. and kept leaving the change. So the drawer was always over every every night. Okay, and Idiot. so they started like being like, "Oh, that's weird." When he's working, <laughs> the drawer is always off. Yeah. yeah. And then they just figured out. Do what you he think was there doing. are any c- criminals who actually stop while they're ahead, or does everybody keep going until? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's tons of people. Uh, no, that I, have I, gotten away with stuff. I honestly think that's the way that all these people get into trouble because there was something recently in the news, and I was like, it probably escalated. He probably, did, yeah. Oh, I was thinking of like the celebrity stuff, like P Diddy. Yeah, they probably do one thing. They're at a party. Oh no, that no sounds big crazy. deal. So there's like, oh, can you get more of that? Yeah, we can get. Oh, you want a you want a kilo of cocaine? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah we could do. Oh, you want yeah. to start selling it? All right, great. Yeah, and then you're throwing parties, and you're like, oh, they're all friends. Who you know? Who's gonna rat me out? Next thing you know, you have a Lollapalooza at your house, and yeah, you know, FBI oh. showing up. Yeah, yeah and, Epst- and I'm not saying that's what P Diddy did. Epstein on speed dial. Yeah. Periodically, I'm sure Epstein started with, "Can I just rub my shoulders?" Yeah, <laughs> quick massage. Like, and like periodically, <laughs> when I was like seven, I would steal like a, a you know candy from a grocery store right. i didn't get in trouble i don't do that anymore yeah, i don't sure so i stopped at the right time costco security yeah security <laughs> all five we got that kid steals candy in bulk you were <laughs> stealing 800 candy bars i did when i was little i, I like to uh do a little bit of shopping oh jeez. do you remember when we were in the jacksonville airport and we were going through security and all of a sudden it got dead oh, yeah. silent that was creepy we were like going through security and like ev- like there's noise, everything's normal. And then all of a sudden it just went dead silent. And like I was like, what's happening? And then like four police officers walk with this dude in handcuffs like through the whole thing oh. and go into this room. And I, and then like within They 10 shut down seconds, like the conveyor belts and everything. But within 10 seconds, everything just starts again. Mm. And there was no announcement. There was no. And he was never heard from again. It was, it was eerie because you hear like when there's security, you hear people taking off their belts or shoes, the yeah. conveyor belts going, you hear the beep of the thing, all these different noises that you don't even realize you hear. When it goes dead silent, it's eerie and you just see people looking around and there's like, it's like right back into. You probably had stuff. something dumb like a paperweight yeah. that looked like a Chances Bugs are. Bunny bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he looked. He looked like when he got caught, he knew what he was getting caught for. <laughs> so you profiled him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, you know what he looked like. No, he looked like Jarrett, but maybe oh. 20 years older. Yeah, I probably, would definitely arrest him <laughs> for sure. Probably got a couple candy Note bars. Self, stay away from the Jacksonville area, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That's a no. serious one because they train there. That's yeah. a training facility. Oh, nope. don't mess Note around to in self Jacksonville. When I, when I go down there in yeah. June. Yeah. All right. So. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, about the, so yeah, the $100 was not real, but also somebody said that if you, even if you find less than a half of a currency, like, uh, okay, like so basically see, what I found, yeah. you can send that in and they might. I thought what it, do you mean ha- send I, it I, in? No, I thought it had to be more than half. <laughs> no, it said less than half. There's there's a, there's a page that says you can send it if it's less Regardless, than Regardless, where do you send yeah, it? Where, where, oh, where are you so sending like it the, in? Like the... What, not FBI, but just like the Federal Reserve or something. I thought like the Tooth Fairy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put on your pillow and, <laughs> and your mom will <laughs> magically replace it with two cents. <laughs> um, it actually loses value. But yeah, speaking of like astronomical amounts of money. Wait, have you started following the blackjack dude? No. <laughs> you got to do it. I, that would give me anxiety. There's this guy who's, have you seen this guy, Meg? He's... Betting uh, for every Instagram follower he has, he bets 10 cents a day, 10 cents per follower on Blackjack. How many followers is he up to? So a now lot. he's up to like 600,000. So he's betting $60,000 <gasps> a hand on Blackjack. He's, he's been doing it for like 62 days. And he started out small, but, you know, obviously. Yeah. And he's kind of, he's. Like, what's going to happen when he has a bad day? Well, he's Instagram famous, so it's fine. So he's had. You know, that's not enough followers to be. Right. And he's had um, like some swings, but he's obviously been on top. So he's up like five hundred fifty thousand dollars right now. But he's it's like the best part of my day. Like I swear, when I see it, how many post every day? Mm -hmm. Just one? Is it like Wordle? (laughs) Yeah. What's his Instagram handle? It's Tim dot Naki. Did you see the person doing um Tim? Yeah. 
they, N-A-K-I. There was somebody on an airplane and they were cheating at Wordle and the person behind him was filming them cheating oh, really? at Wordle. <laughs> How do you <laughs> cheat at Wordle? Wordle. <laughs> That's insane. Because there's like a list of words that like... You can find, like, yeah. but you can also like look up the solution, you know, that you day or whatever. Post, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah what's the point it, he says he's a digital creator he is so well, now he is okay i think he's a gambling like a degenerate gambler to begin that's, with because he pl- this before- would be like Jarrett saying i'll eat one m M&M m for every follower i get <laughs> <laughs> you'll do that anyway like yeah. I, I mean <laughs> peanut butter i'm, I'm, I'm in because before this guy started doing the blackjack stuff he was doing videos of him playing slots and i'm like dude if you're playing video <laughs> slots online uh-huh. you're definitely actually a degenerate i think r- i think Jarrett. Should do this. I think you should eat a donut for every ten new followers you get, and see how many donuts you'd have to eat. In I a mean, week. honestly, if you want to get a ton of followers, j- just pick something like that yeah. and just do it for six months, and you'll yeah. you'll have five hundred thousand followers. So you see, like you say, it's kind of similar. I thought this was like I was like, oh, did he run the Chicago Marathon? <laughs> he's at he's at Lollapalooza. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you trying to find I, an angle to get him on the podcast? I was like, oh, look, he's a runner. No. I've really been enjoying this account where this guy just takes objects and he has um, his he has his closet like doors open with a bar in and he tries to see how many of an object can hold him up. And it's really funny. It makes me laugh a lot. So you could find it funny. But like one of them was he was doing a bags of flour and he goes through like eight bags of flour and oh he like does a pulley system type thing like he okay uh i can't hold this there's but a bar so yeah there's so a bar and a he's holding weight. above the bar the you. object and he's trying to see if how many of those objects can hold his weight okay and so i mean obviously three bags of flour he's doing one bag then two bag then three bags and it's making the biggest mess in the world what? he went through like apple uh pencils and i think he destroyed like at least 40 apple pencils uh, you have to see. It. It's I funny. do have to see it because I'm yeah. a little confused. But I don't. That it, honestly, that kind of stuff freaks me out, worries me a little bit. Because I'm like, what are we doing? Like, exactly, we're wasting time. To why do we have this much time to do singularity this kind of dumb shit? D- digital, <laughs> digital creators. Dude, do you know how that? many people are out there? I, I, if I never see an eclipse again, I'm okay with it. And I de- like the well, fact we didn't that see it yesterday. Either. Well, I, on Instagram, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that was on my list. So God, we went there. Continue. Okay. I, I just, I get it. We're, we turned into like monkeys in front Sounds of a like monolith you don't get in, it. in 2001. I, yeah, Space I actually Odyssey. don't get it. So yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I just don't get it. Well, we weren't in one of the cool places where it was totally blacked out. It was, I've seen photos from here and it was pretty close. I know it wasn't total, but people were like, it was like a whole day happened in a couple of minutes. I'm like, you mean it got dark? Like, are these people that get surprised when they walk into a room and someone turn off the light and back on? <laughs> well, remember wrong when switch, we, wrong switch. Remember when we went outside? We were like, complete it's, darkness. We were like, it, oh, it's happening. Yeah, and it was just cloudy. I was convinced one of you guys was going to blind yourselves. I, I, I was do, like, don't let them outside. I thought I was going to. How many people do you think? <laughs> How uh, many people you think got well, permanent eye damage? Did you say there was a post that said the Google search yeah. for my eyes hurt like exploded uh-huh. yesterday? Well, you know how like when you, sometimes you're driving, you're like, should I just veer off into that tractor trailer? Yeah, oh, all the time. I play, I play that out. Like, yeah. how yeah. how far would this car go? Yeah. It's kind of that feeling where you're yeah. just like, ah, I just want to do it. Just want to do it. Just just <laughs> if you could just see like a hypothetical what happens. That's just, all I want to know. Just like I wish that all the skid marks on the road, I wish that you could see like. <laughs> when he went skid marks. <laughs> I, wish you, I wish you could see like a video of like, because you're like, how, how did oh, that I just do go love watching straight left into I this do barrier? Love, I do love wondering that. I like the ones where the guys are on the motorcycles doing wheelies and they crash. Wow, you guys yeah. just got real dark. If I get to the, that Instagram algorithm, which I have been in before, of the car meet crashes and motorcycles, I could spend hours. I've stopped doing, if Instagram says... Sensitive material, violent, or whatever yeah, like that. Like, I, I don't even look at them anymore because I there's one that was a skateboarding accident where someone's arm got bent backwards oh. and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. But again, that's kind of like the eclipse. You're like, uh, just what's behind that? What's what happens? Exactly. I need to find out. I'm gonna be honest. That's that's the eclipse right there. <laughs> oh yeah, it does look it. like it. If you own a ring light, you've seen the eclipse. <laughs> <That's> the, <yeah. laughs> it does look. Like I actually for in my story this morning I. 
I, I shot uh, me running with the sun behind me, and I just put a black circle. That over wasn't the sun. real. Yeah, yeah that works. Like, yeah, eclipse I mean, people. That's honestly better than most of the photos I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm back for your second check in. And let me tell you, going to Costco can be a fitness experience. It's large enough that you can go there, walk, get your steps in. It's pretty much now the modern day equivalent of like the mall walkers paradise. Um, Except instead of having to go to the food court to get, you know, a sample of Sarku Japan, the chicken teriyaki. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. They've got samples all around. It's your nutrition. No longer do you have to eat eight salted watermelon packets and just get really nauseous. All right, let's take a little hydration break, Meg. Today's sponsor is, again, Element. I'm drinking it right now. (laughs) We love drinking it all the time. Thomas is drinking it right now. And some of the benefits of the electrolyte beverage are that it maintains steady energy. It improves your cognitive function. You suffer from fewer headaches, which Robbie can attest to. 100%. It's a game changer in that department after a long run. You experience fewer muscle cramps, which I can attest to for sure. And it's just, it helps your performance in general. Yeah. And I've got a couple special recipes for you. Definitely try mixing it with club soda or sparkling. What do you call it? Seltzer water? Sparkling water. Yeah. 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 Try it with that over ice. Pretty good. It's a nice treat. If you want a little hydration treat and a little kick, you can even mix this with a little bit of vodka or tequila. (laughs) Make your own ranch water. It's pretty good, but I use it for pretty much everything. All right. And if you want to get some element yourself, you can actually get a free sample pack with any order if you use our link, which is drinklmnt.com slash the drop. Now back to the show. Also, um, if you haven't seen Robbie's casual shoe picks for crossover yeah. shoes, I'm sorry, not casual, runners that can be used. That's that's on the feed today. Yeah. Lifestyle shoes that can be daily trainers or regular running. Shoes. And Ra- Rabbi, how long have you been living with so much Riz? Uh, I mean, I, c- I can't respond to that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't know if I have Riz. Do you think I have Riz? A little bit? Oh, you yeah, got Riz. a little Riz. Right. You got Riz. Cool. Yeah. yeah that word is about no two- cap. That no. Word's- oh, I was going to ask. <laughs> Riz Did you say no cap? Two weeks away from becoming not cool. Oh, <laughs> if, I think if we're using it. It's yeah. already not cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't change the name of the podcast to the Riz Show. <laughs> well, you talk about Rizzo. Rizzo, you already mentioned yeah. Him. Well, I asked Riz. I said he was sweating at the end. I said, "You're dripping with Riz." <laughs> wow. Yep. We're, it's over. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> Rest in peace, Riz. 2023 to 2024. I'm here just to kill those words. Like, <laughs> just let me hang out with your 13 year olds for a little while. I will destroy their vocabulary. <laughs> uh, speaking of kids, things that kids think are cool. So. When we were at the Dave and Buster's, they spent their tickets to get whoopee cushions. Mm. And I I got to tell you, the state of whoopee cushions today is bad. It's bad. Okay. Were they the what? ones that have, have are they the ones that have the sponge inside so you don't have to blow them back up so you can just continually go? No, no. The, it's this, because they're so cheaply made, at least the ones that you can get at arcades and stuff, mm. the seam after a few uses just blows out. Oh. It's Horrible. My kid my kid actually cried. Like because of broke. a whoopee cushion broke. So you went to whoopeecushion.com? I did look up have Googled heavy duty whoopee cushions. No, don't do that. You know what you get? It's what? an app on your phone. You just get I like the remote fart app. There's uh, the nothing re- better than the actual I, No, we had a guy I don't think it needs to be replaced. I think you just need we to We had a on. guy at our office who had the remote one. You're getting a whoopee cushion, Meg. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> he had the remote fart machine. He would tape it under someone's chair. And that's actually pretty good. It was good. pretty good. It was pretty good. Dude, it's always embarrassing. If well, no, because if, if you get caught sitting on a whoopee cushion, yeah. there's no way you're not embarrassed. Because <laughs> you feel dumb for sitting yeah. on it. Like, damn it. Even worse is the sound one because you, yeah. you can't do anything about You don't have a- evidence to show people that it wasn't you. Yeah. No one's going to know. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Hey, look up the remote one. Maybe we should get one for the office. Okay. No. I'm not down with that. I'd want one that has like a scent with it. So like oh. not only makes the noise, but oh. a little pssst comes out. Yeah. That's I a did good... to revenge on. So one person, you know how I'm particular about my utensils and stuff. I had a bowl at my office at one point and a coworker took my bowl 
mm-hmm. and video herself licking it and then put it out in the parking oh. parking uh, area. Oh, man. So I was like, okay, this is a game you want to play? Oh, really? So I bought that liquid ass. Have you ever <laughs> smelt that? Yeah. And started dropping yep. it in her office and putting it on stuff. The the vials you smash or the... I had no, those. This was just the, a little dropper. Okay. Yeah. So I could take a tincture. Put it on a uh, on like a little piece of Kleenex or something and just hide it in her office someplace. Oh. So for like a, a week and she started crying. I was like, you wanted to play. I thought you wanted to play. Wow. Okay. Lick in my bowl. Don't ever double cross Thomas. Yeah. Jeez. End up with a hidden fish in your so room. Aggressive. And that's the only time Meg has ever cried. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I did want to bring up the... Um, did you see that guy who just finished running the length of Africa? Yeah, I did. Crazy. I've been following him for a while and I was like, this is insane. I didn't follow him until someone said, Hey, this dude just ran across Africa. Yeah. Why is, I, I saw like, wasn't he like almost, he was like kidnapped or something. Is he has the same yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. That was yeah. like six months ago, oh. but he was almost, and they had all like, was kidnapped and had to like talk his way out of it. It was crazy. That and they were like mugged with all their stuff, like their gear. He looks the least African. Oh yeah, that you could look. Yeah, he looks like he was definitely born on the other side of the world. <laughs> I, Ireland maybe. Mm-hmm. But uh, so he's done now. Yeah, he just finished this week. So what was the point of this? He was. I mean, he was raising money for okay. charity. I saw um, Laura Green said that she was getting a lot of messages about it. And it seemed like there was a controversy. Was there some sort of controversy? Oh, that he got I'm kidnapped. sure everything today has a controversy, yeah, so right. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. It's probably uh, 349 days, 19 million stops, finish line. 19 million Sunday. steps? You mean not steps. Stops. steps? Stops would be weird. I'm reading it from a very <laughs> far away place. Finish line. Yeah, he basically it was a little over a marathon a day for almost a year. Um. And through like <laughs> some crazy places yeah. that don't have quickie crazy marts part. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, that's crazy. I bet you he's seen some stuff. Oh yeah, like that's not like running across the U.S. No, it is not. <laughs> like, like as the, cool as that is. Like I like uh, even the animals. Like that's danger across. Mm-hmm. Like we don't like if you run across the U.S., chances you run into a grizzly bear probably pretty slim. Yeah, unless you're in Alaska. I would think Africa running into wildlife would be much, much more Yeah, I'm trying to see, or like wild dogs or anything. Cause Ooh, wild dogs. Hey, People were talking about wild dogs on the... the speed project. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't believe it. I don't know. If you th- run through s- certain places in uh, Appalachia, you're getting wild dogs too. Yeah. Or domesticated dogs that are Dude, wild. You know what? Appalachians scare me. Like I saw that movie Deliverance when I was a kid. Yeah. And what's the other one? I saw I saw another one where they went on a hunting trip. And yeah, there's some definitely crazy parts out there. Backwoods. So, so you're talking about wild dogs with like a negative connotation, but could you imagine if it was only wild dogs of like beagles and dachshunds? Oh yeah. Right. I'm running there now that I think about it. Like, that would be such a snuggling. That's what was just going through my brain. Okay, for the last 30 that seconds. goes into that old. You remember a hundred ducks or one giant duck? Would if would you? Rather run through a thousand vicious dachshunds oh. or just have to get past one real angry wolf. One angry uh, wolf. Yeah, death by bird yeah. sounds great. Oh, you said dachshunds. They'll yeah. go right for your ankle. Yeah, but you can kick you can kick this. Sh- what if they I mean, what if they're if you just put them, say, like in, in the middle of Australia and let them go crazy, like dachshunds, and they did turn feral. What, could you imagine that if you They're were like running? Little gremlins. Dude, do you know? I mean, no, you would be they, so confused. They would That's be gone. Prairie. Do you know it's why? Much prairie dogs. Dude, the, people, the yeah. other animals would eat the crap out of yeah. dachshunds. Dachshunds would last maybe uh, a week in, the, not in, in Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it'd be real cute. <laughs> you just set set a few uh, loose in Leakin Park here in Baltimore. You could probably they'd go feral within a year. Uh, yeah, you got to go someplace safe. Um, anyways, that was do you cool. want to know what is not safe? Being a parent to octopus. <laughs> oh, why did you adopt one? Megan told me the most disturbing thing ever. Cause I, ever since seeing my octopus teacher or whatever, yeah, that thing was so good. I fell in love with octopus. I will not eat octopus. Oh. I know I've been struggling with it just since I've been thinking about it. Well, I'm probably still going to do apparently it. Apparently the, the females go nuts. 
So when females they go to pretzels.com. Yeah. <laughs> when females are pregnant, they something changes in their the chemicals in their brain and they kill themselves. So they stop uh, eating really? until they completely fade away into nothing and then about the same time the eggs hatch, they die. But, but in captivity, it's even worse where they kill themselves like by throwing themselves against a rock because they're still eating, eating themselves. And stuff. So they will bite off their arms. They'll smash their heads into rocks. They'll do all this stuff to kill themselves. Like they are like, we got to die. Why? Why? They're, they're studying it, but it's like there's something changes in their, in like their chemicals. What was it called? It was, there they're, was, they're saying there's a big change in their cholesterol, which I don't really understand, but it's something related to changes that happen inside when they're optic, pregnant. What did they call it? Their optic the optic gland is in control of this. So they said if they removed that from the octopus that was pregnant, they would stop caring about their eggs and live another six months. So they would live, but not their... Not their young. Oh. Where did you see that at? Oh, oh watching TV. I, so I saw a headline and then I Googled it and then I started reading all these articles. Oh, I went down a rabbit hole. And that's for octopi, octopuses? <laughs> I think it's octopi. Octopi is one octopus. No, Wait, no, that's multiple octopus. Yeah. Plus. Hold on. I don't <laughs> Thomas is right about a lot of things. So let me see. I think it's like dice and die. Oh, so, so, okay. That's what I thought. Both octopuses and octopi are acceptable pl oh. plurals. So you okay. can use either one. Sure. So I am incorrect. Um, anyway, you were correct about the Passover stuff. I, I was, you know, I think it's really weird that people don't understand. Like the G Megan and I were talking about it. Jesus was Jewish. Right. Like that dude. Right. Probably got bar mitzvah or whatever. <laughs> did, did they have the, did they have those back then? Like your wife. <laughs> Let's go to our resident <laughs> <laughs> expert. Right. I, yeah. Roughly around 13, I believe. I don't think they, but they spent like a lot of money and had parties and stuff. Yeah. That's where <laughs> he got that cool robe and sandals. That was the know. first time they did the horror. Yeah. The Merkin sense. <laughs> um, he was rich. But no, so like it really is right. weird to me that, especially now, like currently with the stuff that's going on in the world, mm -hmm. that people aren't like, oh, wait a second. The dude that we love the most mm -hmm. was one of yeah, those people. Yeah. He was Jewish. Yeah. I mean, that was a whole, that's kind of like the whole. No one can see you pointing at the, Jared. Yeah. Who's listening. That's kind of like the whole premise of the entire, like, I mean, that's the whole point. Of pretty much the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. You think people would be like, oh, that, yeah, let's not be so angry at people. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think Jesus was also a dude who was like, hey, let's not be so people. angry at people. And that's generally true. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Turn, turn the other cheek. Yeah, but if you're an octopus, that ain't happening. Uh, Yeah. No, yeah, so that's a real bummer. can't do anything about it. I don't know. It does make me sad because think yeah. about all those little octopi that are growing up without moms. All of them. I mean, it's basically a Disney movie, though. That's the whole premise of it's every Bambi, Disney movie. In a nutshell. Oh, think about being the princess octopus. I think it's... And then you fall in love with the handsome prince octopus. Yeah. And then you just slap your head against your rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think every... I believe it's every Disney movie. They're all... Anyone that has kids in it, they're all orphans. Well, I do I think, think that for think like 95 a, a rough childhood makes for a better story it's for sure i prefer pixar yeah pixar is the deviates from that because mm -hmm. they have their nemo. what's their thing no well, nemo lost his parents but uh big hero six incredibles they have the whole family what about big hero six i don't think i've actually seen that oh one. that's one of my favorites yeah when he does this thing he, first off he's already missing his parents mm -hmm. then his brother gets murdered oh and so now he, he's a sad young guy Befriends a robot that his brother created mm -hmm. to help people, turns them into a weapon. I mean, most great stories in Star Wars. Uh, well, all of them. I mean, Dune, his parent. father gets killed. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars, he's orphaned. I mean, it either sets it up for the pretty, Matrix. pretty good revenge narrative. or John Wick. I mean. <laughs> he not, the, his, were his parents killed? Uh, they killed the dog. Okay, that's not his. Did he? Is that his dad? Spider Man. Well, his wife. His wife passed away, and then the dog. And Batman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like a lot of them. Uh, anyways, 
We, uh, maybe we should talk about running a little bit more. If you really cared about your kids, Robbie, <laughs> yeah, I don't. if you wanted to have a good story, I, I'd take, I'd listen to the voices in my head and drive the car into the, yeah. <laughs> it's for my kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, we're here. We should probably talk a little bit more about running. Like maybe what clothes they're running. Yeah. Like a uh, say sky. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And their new, um, what is it called? Flow collection. Yeah. Flow. Lightweight, and I said it last week, I'll say it again. Like, this is a company that I feel like is consistent with fit. If you try their product, and you have one, like I get the medium. The medium fits pretty much across the board, jacket, singlet, shirt, yeah. long sleeve. That is the biggest problem I think I have. Even with some of our favorite brands, mm-hmm. uh, finding consistency in sizing can be really difficult. Yeah. I feel like they're also really lightweight. Like their performance gear feels like performance gear. And then what I also like is that, yes, they do have like bright colors, but I feel like they also always have like a black and a a white. white. And so they're combat singlet. You can find something you like. You can use it. Like we use that for the Believe Run Club because we could get solid white and black. Mm -hmm. And then we heat press the the Believe Run Club logo on there or Faster Bastards. And people seem to like it. Yeah. So if you want to check out, uh, the new flow collection or any of their apparel, you can go to saysky.com. And then right now we have a code that's active drop 15, which will save you some dollars on uh, your purchase. Cool. Go get it. All right. So what was the other thing? Oh, obviously Boston is this weekend. Obviously. Yeah. I was trying to think when this came out. Friday. Friday. We're, we're, we're going to be we're, on our way. We are. We haven't even gotten on a plane when this comes out. Around noon, we get on the plane. Robbie's probably still packing. <laughs> yeah. Hackers. Robbie has left his coffee mug in the car. <laughs> it's going to be at the airport with some rotting milk in it. That's true. For- yeah, make sure he has his wallet. Yeah. Um, wallet, phone, chargers. I have a checklist to go through when everyone gets are, in the car. Are, are you running the 5K? Yeah. Okay, so bring your bib. That's a big one. I'll yeah. Write that down. Because we they mailed the bibs, which I'm like, what? Well, yeah. It's nice, though. You don't, it so is you don't nice, but about. it's also not nice because now if I got a bib it, to carry that's around. It. No, you can get you can get a new one uh, don't the tell morning off. Don't tell them Guess that. Guess what we're doing that tonight? Yeah, because it's Friday, which means we will be at, sorry, how do we say it? Solus. 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 Something. Solus, Solis. which is right on, I think it's right on Boylston Street. Um, and it's part of the Lennox it's an hotel. Irish pub. It's an Irish pub. It has seen some things. Um, we're going to go for a quick little three ish mile jog together in trivia. And then afterwards we're going to hang out, play some trivia, giving out socks. You can get a sweet custom pair. Believe in the run. New balance. Believe in the run socks. <laughs> Guess who else I heard is going to be there. <gasps> Special guest. I, I mean, he told me he's coming and I'm excited to see not him. Not Jarrett. Yeah. Not Jarrett. Kafusi. <laughs> Oh, oh, Co. All right, so, worth it to come just to see Co. Yeah, I, I, if there's one person that is like a universal celebrity, I think it's it's Michael Cafuzzi. Yeah, he's a big deal. He's people people, people they know love him. Mike. How could you one, not? I yeah. think technically we were talking about the most listened to podcast guest. I think he is number one again. I believe it. Uh, yeah, the the last time we had him on, I think yeah. it's the most listened. All right, to maybe we should guest get rid of Jarrett and have Mike on every week. <laughs> yeah. You could. I mean, I wouldn't take offense to that. I love him. So, Just, okay. Can, Jared, can we get a yo? What's going on? It's Jared. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Because <laughs> then it's just going to be shaming more, more shaming. And before people freak out, because Meg was like, he's Jared's not going to be here. I will be in Boston. I have a late flight. Yeah. He's getting in late on Friday. So, he's coming to everything yeah, else. Everybody relax. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you were panicking. I'm going to press yeah. <laughs> If you want to see, if you want to see Jared, you can see him after the 5K. At the New Balance store on Newberry Street. Yes. Hey, um, Jarrett, uh, this is a question because Meg isn't running the 5K. So Meg could be all showered and pretty and looking good when she gets to the New Balance store. I'm going to try. I was like, we could just come straight after the race and show people what it's like to smell and look like a real runner. Mm, maybe maybe just swap out some gear. Mm. Mm, or we don't and we just go. So what time, is the, <laughs> what time does the 5K start? 8 30 8 30 i think and then we have a th- 10 10 a.m 
I'll be there. I'll be there holding the fort down. If so you if guys want to see the guys, it's probably gonna... get closer to 11 a.m. Okay. If you want to see me, come it, closer to 10 a.m. I mean, I think we should be able to finish in less than an hour, the 5K. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> or... If you're walking it backwards, you'll finish in less than an hour. Yeah, but see, I'm going to talk to people, say hello, shake hands, kiss babies. Okay. Yeah, Are you that's signing, illegal. Signing uh, autographs out there? Only on the chest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Gilmore style. Yeah. Um, okay, so then on that Saturday morning, the Newberry store with New Balance, come see us then. And then on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to be doing our final shakeout run with ASICS. It's the one we do every year. It's at the ASICS brand house on Newberry Street. I think it's 129. Um, RSP if you haven't, but also come. We're going to have the best hat we've ever had. But we only have 300 of them. So, yes. brrrap, so it's going to be first come, first serve. So I'm sorry in advance if you don't get one, but just get there early. You'll get one. They're probably going to be, ASICS knows that more people signed up. There'll probably be other swag that you'll be able to get. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. We're there. there. I, I talked to them and they said okay. that they're, they're <laughs> trying so to be, make right. sure. We'll that also stuff have there. bagels, coffee. Morton is providing some product for you to try. Yeah. Pocket that Morton. Cool. That's my plan. I know Megan's like packing Megan was fuel. getting all stressed out because she's like, "Is it is it there yet? Is it there yet?" Because she's not packing Morton to I go up. I just don't have any. She's like, "I'm just gonna grab it from." Yeah. So I have. Um, I'm probably not gonna use those ones that I have. I have that whole box. The, the ones that made him sick. Oh. <laughs> nice. The ones that I'll made buy them from you. You can have them. Yeah. Okay. Make a. It's the ones they used for the bush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm. I, that reminds me. I actually need to get some. I can probably pick them up at the expo. Yeah. Some goos, goo rock teams. I'm starting to think I might want to do the expo with Jarrett. Why? Yeah. Yeah. He's, oh. There's like Adidas is going to walk them around and. Sh- I guess I should do that. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. We'll do see, that. look at do that. Do we have to sign up for it or do yeah, we just. Yeah. You're so sorry. So you uh, like- we can just tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. And then on Monday, we're all racing Boston. <sighs> Dun, it's going to be dun. a big day. I'm going to run with the person who did the very popular check-ins last week, Lynn, mm-hmm. um, who oh, really? is a firm believer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah Lynn's running with us. Yeah. Well, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome to join well, us. Well, I definitely will for the first few miles. Because you and have then, to. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like, we're going to run, I think, I feel like we're going to run a very well executed race. Yeah. So like, I have strong hopes Especially after Cherry Blossom, I'm like, there's an advantage to going out a little conservative mm-hmm. and then picking it up. How are you going to do the makeup for the time that we have in Down the first hills. three miles? Downhills. Just just start picking it up. But what's the, are you going to jump right into a sub eight minute pace or go for I'm like going to ta- talk. Down? Well, that's, I don't think this is a course that you pick a pace. I think this is a course that you work the course. So like you take advantage where you can take advantage uh-huh. and you chill where you have to chill. I'm not going to be racing up the hills. Right. I'm going to be picking up the paces on the downhills. And then when it's flat, that's when I'll like take advantage of like trying to get into a steady pace. But I don't, I don't feel like this is a course where you go looking at your watch and be like, I got to nail my paces yeah. the whole time. I think this is more of a, you, you, you take advantage of it. And I felt the nice thing was when we were running, at least with uh, Dina, I, that was conversational the whole time. And even when we picked up, we were going, like, I don't plan on running 740s for, a, like, to be my average pace for uh, Boston. But we were running 740s, and we were calm. Everything okay. felt good. And then we hit the hill section and probably slowed down a little bit, but then towards the finish it kind of slopes down a little bit mm-hmm. we picked it up on that so it, it equaled out i think that trying to i don't think this is a course to try to be like right. i gotta hang on this pace no i think this is 100 percent a course where effort is like so important like you know if you're overexerting yourself too soon yeah you just need to be patient and that's then- the thing is you don't know when you're overexerting yourself too soon i feel like you can get you can be at mile six and be like i feel really good and so you're like, we could pick it up a little well, bit. Well, sure, you can hold yourself back yeah. if you feel really good. But I'm saying if you're if it feels like you're pushing, pushing. Yeah. early, like just that's a sign. Like a- <laughs> Thomas, will you just promise me that you won't forget about me because our He's gonna plan- leave you in I know, the dust. I know. And I'm just gonna watch him and I'm gonna all smile. 
Dude, I thought I was going to be leaving you in the dust in New York, and I ended up <laughs> like <laughs> crashing and burning. So let's just see how the day goes. Are you going to start together at least? And yeah, run? we have yeah. to, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So just see how it and goes. And then, and then I'm going to be like the the wise father and say, Thomas, you got this. And I'm well, just going to. I think our wine glass was perfect. We ran twenty together, and then. I was like, I think I can pick it up a little bit. And you're like, I'm happy here. And mm-hmm. I said, I'll see you at the finish. And it may be, I don't know where your fitness is. I can't tell, but you've, you're strong. You've got a good engine. And I think that you're someone who's going to suck up the Boston crowds mm-hmm. a ton. Like you feed off that. Yeah, stuff. I'm going to, it's going to be, I, I actually don't know. I've been to Boston like five times. I volunteered there uh, that year when it rained like a whole ton I thought I was going to get hypothermia. That was like one of the worst the experiences. I think. Yeah, that was one of the worst yeah. experiences in my life trying to hand out water because I was shaking. Was that the Des year? Because you wore yeah. the jacket yeah. the whole yeah. time? Yeah. And Yuki, I believe. One yeah. really. But I was like shaking, trying to hand water out. So like it was spilling everywhere, but then it was filling back up because the rain was so hard. <laughs> so it was fine. But I've experienced that. I've been to Heartbreak Hill. I've been to different cheer stations and, and, and all that. We last year took pictures at the finish line, but I don't really know the course well and i'm so excited to like you're gonna love it yeah to just see everything soak it in and i mean i've run a lot of different courses and i have to say i would typically say that i don't love a hill hilly course i absolutely love this course i think it's it's just it's fun knowing that you're running to boston from hop i like the point to point like yeah that actually is something I'm looking forward to um, as opposed to like a big circle around the city, which is, is cool because you get to see different things. But like on our training runs, when we ran all the way up, even though it was an out back, we ran pretty much out to the County and it, just the constant changes of scenery was just so cool. So I'm London's excited. like that too. Mm-hmm. I feel like I really enjoyed the London course cause you run down uh, like from the countryside down into the oh, city and you see cool. like landmarks as you're going along and running over, what is it? Uh, tower bridge. Mm-hmm. Tower bridge is insane. Cause that's, it's packed. Yeah. It's just so iconic. Like you're like, I am in London. I am like, I, I can't think of another race where I felt like I was on something quite as iconic. Even that feels like the same turn in New York where you come down. Um, what's that? Oh, the- off of, um, you like come down the make the left hand oh, turn. Oh, sixteenth mile. Yeah, like when yeah. you come onto Fifth Ave. Yeah. yeah, that's what that feels like. Well, in the lo- in the bridge. London Bridge, are they trying to I charge thought- you a toll of four dollars to well, run yeah, across they it? Are. Yeah, it's it's every time it's the Tower Bridge. Okay, London Bridge is a different bridge. Well, I mean, New York wants to do that. Yeah, you see the Cuddy Sark, you see Big Ben, the the whole palace. Anyway, Queensboro Bridge. What the heck? Yeah. Boston. Oh, there's no bridges. Queensboro Bridge. That one is horrible. You go under a little bridge. Remember that? You got, it's the only time you're like yeah. super quiet. Yeah, it's terrible. And everybody like bodies are starting to like <laughs> yeah. fall off and stuff. It sounds like a zo- like scene from World War Z. Like all the a bunch of zombies. Like people trying to hill. leave New York. Yeah. So, yeah. so you guys have run Boston. Are there any like tips and tricks? I mean, it's obviously New York people tell you take the bridges easy because it's it's like that. But is there somewhere in Boston where like you kind of really the need race to look starts out. at mile 21 when you're at the top of heartbreak hill. That's when it ended for me. <laughs> <laughs> that like is so that is where if you can get there last year, that's where good. I felt great. You, are, you, you got six so miles or five miles to, but we were running, we were running easy. Yeah. I was we got there and I felt sure. great. We ran into Jen. Jen was having a day of, of needing a little bit of like pep talk. Mm-hmm. So we got in with her and we just cruised in, and I think because it was like I'm a little afraid this year because I'm planning on making a bigger effort. And last year I just wanted to enjoy the experience, so I know like I'm like I hope I feel as good as I did for those last few miles because that kind of reminded me you didn't do the Brooklyn half last year, mm-hmm. but you remember the Brooklyn half where it was just like dead flat for like yeah, like you're on a freeway almost. Yeah, I will say that everyone talks about how Boston is downhill in the beginning and it is the whole course is net downhill, but, but it's you're, rolling. you're always going up and down. And so like you have to be prepared that like it's just up and down, like pretty much the whole time. Except 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And mile 15 is the most fun screaming downhill and you hit it right before you hit go into the Newton Hills. But it's if you're feeling good at that point, it's the most fun mile because okay. you, just, you just fly down. And it. there's people cheering. Yeah. And the only problem is that when you get to the bottom of the hill, you climb, you're going to climb. Now, it was great because we did the same thing. We spectated before we went and watched uh, Jordan Trofe do his uh, three and three um, under 230. And. So I knew that hill was there and I'd run it a couple of times just running up and down. And so I knew what that was going to be. That's like. mile 18 you're thinking of. Oh, is that mile yeah. 18? Yeah. Okay. And so I was just, I was like, okay, I know what this is going to be like. Is that the double hill or is that? Yeah. Part? You come about, in, you so do you, a turn. You do a right hand turn. Almost like onto, a hairpin turn. It's like 17 and a half. And then that's like the beginning of the. Okay. Of the so where's times. heartbreak? Heartbreak is right before 21. Okay. So you're going to hit a lot of hills and you're going to be like, is this heartbreak? Is mm-hmm. this heartbreak? Yeah. Heartbreak has a big <laughs> sign at the top yeah. that says, okay. this is heartbreak okay. hill. So it'll be very You'll obvious. Know. Okay. What is also crazy is I thought heartbreak hill was the last hill. It, it is. I didn't feel like it was. I thought there was one more hill and I was like, hey, that's crazy. I, I felt like there was like one extra one. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was just. Heartbreak is like the top. I will tell you this and I'm probably, it's going to be my strategy this time. When I get to the hills, I throw any pace yeah. whatever out the window and just try to enjoy climbing the hill just like try to get in the mindset of i got to get to the top of this doesn't matter how long it takes mm-hmm. you can pick up the pace if you want afterwards if you got it but like trying to charge those hills i think would just ruin your race yeah that's what happened to me so <laughs> well there you go uh i was definitely not in quite great shape last year and pushing it from we just yeah. run tokyo yeah so Six weeks, be- five weeks before that. Like even, like I, I feel like maybe I overreached last year. I did the Houston half injured because mm-hmm. I was just coming back from injury. Then mm-hmm. we did Tokyo. Then we did Boston. Yeah. And we had done New York City in in November, so. Yeah. Um, and London right before that. Oh, right. You guys did that. So yeah, it was, I think it, I think I feel a lot better this year. So we'll see. I didn't even realize that London was not normally in the fall mm. when we did it in the fall. Yeah. But it looks like we may have the opportunity to run London next spring. Okay. So cool. we may be doing fun stuff at Boston, but running um, London instead. Yeah. Um, you could probably get Chicago this year too. So you could get Chicago, then London, and then you just need one left. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> it is. You get, feels like a lot. You get a medal with then six. Then they're going to add uh, another one. Yeah. Who even knows yeah. what's yeah. happening at, anymore? At that point, if you just have London left, that's easy. I'll have the three U.S. ones, so maybe I can get like a three-star medal. Yeah. You already have it. We'll make it for you. Get <sighs> domestic, domestic majors medal. Yeah. 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 Um, yes. That's actually not a bad marketing idea. <laughs> you're, that's actually, yeah. You know, for right. an extra grand, you're you right. can get this medal. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm looking forward to it though. It'll be it'll be a good day. It's funny because uh, I've seen people. Ashley Mateo posted in Threads the the weather report, and I it's literally the same app on your iPhone, right? Mm-hmm. So I could see her the screenshot she took, and I checked mine <laughs> at the exact same time, and it was ten degrees difference. What it was hers said high of seventy. Mine said, mine said high of sixty, and then I checked like weather dot com and it said high of fifty six. So I'm like, weather dot com is way more accurate than what's on and, your and, app. And let's just say this: we're still. I mean, at this point, we're six days out mm-hmm. when we're recording this. So, I don't know. Yeah, let's hold on the panic there. So now it's saying on my phone high of sixty three. Low of forty nine. Hopkinton says have. Hopkinton says a high of sixty seven. What is that? Oh, you're out of there. Are Fast. we aren't? Don't we start at like eleven? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we start when the sun is at its highest point. <laughs> let's talk about the shoe, should we? I'm back for your final check in, and this relates to the food court. The deal of the century is that dollar fifty cent Costco hot dog drink combo which has been the same price since 1985. Now, this is from a Fox uh, news article, business news article. In a 2018 interview with Seattle-based publication 425 Business, 
Then CEO Craig Jelinek recounted the famous response from the other CEO, Senegal, who had since retired, to being told that the hot dog price wasn't sustainable. And I quote, I came to Senegal once and I said, Jim, we can't sell this hot dog for a buck fifty. We're losing our rear ends, Jelinek said. And he said, if you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Figure it out. So just remember that price. I mean, that's as good as it gets. Grab it and enjoy it. Live it up. Yeah, we should. All right. This thing is bananas. It's bonkers. All right. We have a new shoe from Hoka here. It's called the Skyward X. Hoka's back. Like, I felt like they gave up the throne of Max Cushion for a little while to some of these other shoe brands came along and started eating their lunch. But they're back. Yeah. So the shoe is, it's technically brand new, but to us, it feels a little bit like the, they just created a Bondi X2. Yeah, okay. I don't understand why they renamed this Skyward. This could have been Bondi X2. And I mean, because do I don't point. think the Bondi X is, I think it's done. Right? I think it's done. Yeah. I mean, but I do understand it too because this has all new materials. So this is a Piba foam. Um, Break it a, down. There's a carbon fiber plate, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got X in the name. Anything with the X. And. But also, like, you can see it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know if it was if it was a carbon plate. Okay, a painted carbon. Um, There's two kinds of foam. Yeah, including a Piba foam. Piba is the one closer to the foot, and then you have a super critical EVA beneath that. Yeah, and this thing is squishy. Yeah, and it's also tall. So I think one of the reasons you like it, Meg, is it gives you an extra three inches. I mean, you know, I like that. That's definitely a selling point for me. Yeah. It's also I put it on. So I was I was real hesitant because I we saw some photos that leaked earlier than it came out. And we were like, what is that? Um, and it looked firm. So I was a little bit skeptical about it. But I put it on and I was like walking around and I was like, this feels pretty great. And then when you run in it, it's, I don't think there could be a shoe that would be designed more to Megan's specs. It's just so fun. It's like a shoe that I since I've gotten it, I've laced it up for every single run except for ones that I could not. Yeah. Um, and sure, it's a little bit heavier, but it's if you're using this for a training shoe. See, Megan's kind of selling me on this because normally I'm like, I want lightweight no matter what. And she's like, yeah, but when you take this off and you put on, like, this is so comfy and bouncy. And yeah, it's Well, heavy. my example was when we were running the Annapolis half for my warm-up miles, I had on a pair of Bondi. And jogging around i'm like okay whatever feel fine and then i laced up the alpha fly three and it was like oh wow like this i feel lighter sudden, yeah. and bouncier and everything's great so think it's of like, it as ankle weights yeah it's so. like it's nice to have almost a like a change from race day to training so i mean we might as well get into it there's going to be two knocks against it for my size 10 and a half it weighs t- about 12 ounces one of them weighed uh, 11.85 and the other one weighed 12 ounces so Somewhere there in the middle. Um, and price, how much does it cost, Meg? Two twenty five. Two twenty five. So for me, I really like the CLX one to everybody's chagrin. And uh, I've taken some heat for liking that as like a daily trainer. <laughs> but it's not that much more expensive than this. Well, it's $50. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but if you're going to drop, if yeah, you're dropping that much money, yeah. you know, what's an extra? Tops is... <laughs> insisting on digging himself in a further hole. I will say (laughs) I'm wearing a satisfy shirt. Yeah. yeah. I also think that this shoe though, yes, the price is hefty. Um, but I really feel like this shoe is going to last a really, really long time. I would agree with that. You have Piva, you have a carbon fiber plate, and then you have a a ton of rubber on the outsole. You have, yeah, this, this shoe is not going anywhere. Yeah. Did you see the, how the plate looks? It's interesting. Can I see it? Because I can see on the bottom here there's cutouts. It's curved in between the... It's like an H, a yeah. very okay. big H plate. All right, I see it. So when you guys were in here setting up, I tried on Thomas's. Yeah, I know. Shocker, right? This is the first time Did that Thomas really is hearing about this. And Wait, he's <laughs> tried this on? Did he's you actually about to try lose on? Uh, not that one, the left one. So don't worry. The right one's good. Without socks either. Did you slide your foot in? <laughs> it's not working for me. Let's just put it like that. Wait a second. You couldn't put, There's put your no foot way. Inside? No, I got my foot in. Look look how tight I have it laced up, dude. It's the midfoot. Right. It's, it's just not, it no. just didn't. 
Why'd you try on my shoe? <laughs> That's interesting because I feel like these are pretty wide, really? especially in the Robbie, toe box. Robbie, you wouldn't lie to me. Did he try on my shoe? I actually don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Did you actually? Why would I lie on? to the people? But he always tries your shoes on. Yeah, you know that? yeah. Filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> he does it whenever he comes over to your house. He's always trying on all the shoes. That's true. The fit for me is generous. Mm-hmm. I have it. I had to. It actually took me the first run. I had to stop and retie him because I had. To, at first I had it a little too loose. And so when I tightened them, then I tightened it up too hard over the foot and started feeling a little, uh, bite arch bite. And so then I loosened it up uh, just a hair and got it to the right spot. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy cause I did striders in them both times I've worn it and yeah, it's heavy, but it is, it, when I'm running and I'm like, I can't help but think Megan is probably loving this shoe because it's like landing on pillows. It's, but it's not. It's like I described it as a slightly firmer SC Trainer V1. I think it definitely feels like the SC Trainer. I want to go back and try, I because I slammed the um, Primex Strung Primex two. Strung 2 for being too heavy. This shoe, I'm like, okay, maybe it works because it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily feel like a 12 ounce shoe. It still feels heavy, but I'm like, maybe I need to go back and try that on and see, because this has that kind of stack. It's, is this over 50 millimeters? I think so. It's not written on the website. It's a five millimeter drop. Um, but I think the difference too, in the weight for me is that this one feels more evenly distributed. I felt like the Primex Strung 2 felt very bottom heavy. This has like super plush upper, the tongue and collar has got tons of padding. Like it's just a, it's more balanced, I think. And that's why the weight didn't bother me. And I'll tell you, I hate my colorway at first. I thought it looked garish a little bit like, uh, you know, it's red, white, and blue. It's, it looks like a 4th of July shoe. It's yeah. very large too. It looks kind of like a clown shoe. Yeah. But <laughs> after a while, I was kind of like, kind of digging it. I yeah. love mine. It's kind of yeah, fun. The women's one's real nice. Yeah. It's pleasant. Yours is a, right? It is pleasant. Yours head looks like a mango smoothie. I love mm-hmm. it. But yeah. Um, yeah, so it, I def, like I told Meg, I, this shoe feels like something you could do a road ultra in. Mm-hmm. Like it just has that kind of, like your legs aren't going to feel anything like you're, this is zero ground feel. Yeah. And I was trying to see if it had any flex for the toes or anything. There's no flex. Like you're, you're, you're using your foot muscles to not do anything. It might be my new, like favorite daily trainer. Okay. Or super trainer, I That's guess. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I, I guess is two over $200 for a daily trainer going to become somewhat a norm. It's a super trainer. Right. It has a plate. It's got the plate. Foam. I consider though the Boston, uh, 12, a super trainer. How and much will that one cost you? You can now get it on sale for like 70 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Like people are, I keep getting messages for people. Like I picked it up here. Yeah. yeah you can get it on sale for pretty reasonable. And to me, that is such a great shoe. And if you can get it for a price like that, then that's pretty. pretty that's going to be way firmer of a shoe. It is. Like this is a different experience. And I this do. This one think, has me excited to lace up my shoes and go for a run. That's the that's the X factor. Yeah. But the the thing is that I think that when we talk to people about these shoes, we talked about it. The longevity of this shoe. Mm-hmm. I think you could get two pairs of shoes for 150 bucks and this one will feel better and last longer than those. So if you were to compare it to two pairs of shoes versus one, right? I think, I really do think you could get an easy 600 miles out of this. Yeah. Cool. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, Ooh. That'd be crazy. You heard it here first, a 600 mile update. (laughs) Are you serious? If you can do that, People would lose their minds if we. How many it. do you have on it so far? Uh, I'd have to go. I need to start doing better with tracking on Strava, but probably thirty. That's only like two Wait, weeks of running for you. you ran by the way, you ran in it Friday because we only got it last week. You ran in it Friday. It's probably yeah. around thirty miles. Yeah, that's yeah. good. We don't have to do the tallying. Yeah, I was trying to help her. No, it's, yeah. I have a lot more to do. <laughs> Six hundred mile review. Yeah, but uh, I I love it. Yeah. Cool. I think I think if That's you did exciting. a three hundred mile review, people would be excited. Okay. So why don't we try that? Okay. All right. They won't be as pretty white. I mean, that's but. exciting to have 
Like Hoka has some of the most fun shoes yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Which I pretty much wrote them off after the last couple of years. We've been like, they're not upgrading their phones. Right. They're not doing anything new. Yeah. The shoes are stale. Other companies were coming out with stuff that I felt like was had that Hoka DNA. Yeah. It's that Decker's X Lab, man, doing weird stuff. You think they you think you think uh uh our boy is back on this one? It's like yeah. There's so definitely some inspiration. He's the Willy from Wonka them. of yeah. Willy Wonka of the shoe industry. Probably no, no one ever no no one ever goes in, no one ever comes out of that lab. Like that <laughs> off brand, like really sketchy Willy Wonka or you know just the traditional or, uh, somebody made a good point about the reason why the original Willy Wonka was so good and the other ones have not been good. And I think part of it was that he was dangerous. Uh, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just we, saw a we thing. protect the kids too much these days. I'm, read, I'm re- actually reading the book right now. By, is, is that a doll book? To my kids. Yeah, it's for all doll. I just saw a thing that so the guy Charlie. He Fantastic gets, Mr. Fox is written by the same guy who wrote Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. James and the Giant Peach, Matilda. I didn't even think about BFG. those. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie's Crazy. only getting from the movies still like ten dollars like every two or three weeks in uh royalties from that movie. Oh, he got a whole chocolate factory. I'm sure he's doing okay. <laughs> That's actually true, yeah. <laughs> he's fine. Yeah. Even though even if he did even if Willy Wonka did use imported slave labor from Southeast <laughs> Southeast Asia. <laughs> just if you think about it, it's exactly what happened. Um He did have a yeah, a group of slave will uh Umpa yeah. Lumpas. But uh, I think they enjoyed the chocolate life. So I think, yeah, we don't know what their natural coloring would be if they'd seen, stu- you know, sunlight. But. I can't remember in the book. I haven't gotten to that point yet because we just started a couple of days ago. I can't remember if they look, if they're described they're, in the book. They are described as shorter. They're uh, below the knee. That's how small they are in the book. It's so only like a foot tall. They're actually double that in. Yeah, they're in the movie. Yeah. Anyways, so that's a. Uh, Chocolate factory talk. <laughs> I think we covered everything. Yeah. I, I, I feel like we did it. Robbie, you got anything else you want to cover? Pretty good. No, I think um, I think I just said, make sure you finish up your taxes this week. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't, there is, the IRS does have a program called the first time abatement that if you forget to file them or do it late, you get forgiven one time in your whole life and use that program because I had to do it before and it saved me like $1,000. Okay, there you go, people. <laughs> that was my uh, only thing. public service. Have you done? Your, have Have you guys done your taxes? Finished them yet? Not yet. Businesses are done. Personal are getting done today. Cool. I mine are pretty straightforward. So I just ours are turbo tax bonkers. Yeah. yeah, I can't even imagine. It sounds horrible. It's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> sounds insane. Yeah. It's a literal nightmare. We actually have to pay someone to. Yeah, figure there's it out. there's no way. Yeah, you would. And uh, I have one other person who's like, you're doing it wrong. You just have one that's filing tax. You need to have a wealth tax manager that like figures out. Yeah. Like, like apparently we should be doing things to get those loopholes. Yeah. 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 Finding the loopholes. Yeah. Which sounds to me like I'll end up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't, might. don't worry, Robbie. I'm a simple, a simple turbo tax boy like yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. Well, you, you have the easiest cause yours is just like a straight up, you get a government check, they probably take out the taxes and you just file what you made. Like you don't do well, anything extra. Do you? His, he has student loans, so his there's more involved with Does that. He? I heard that Biden got rid of this. Mm, you know, that's still, like one one thousand, yeah. thousandth of how much mine are. <laughs> I No, I, mine are like very straightforward. It's just us to get that kid tax credit, which is nice. And then itemize everything. The only thing is itemizing everything. But Do you, um, you do itemize? Yeah. Because I have more deductions than the standards, so. Because yeah. of your running? Uh, no, just because of giving and things. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, and and childcare, so it all combines. I'm glad we got the tax anyways, talk in here. Um, so <laughs> I would say, yeah, no, but that's a good reminder for people: get your taxes done. If they're if they're getting reminded right now, the. <sighs> Dude, I was doing Problems. mine. I was finishing mine up at Boston last year. <laughs> um, Cause I just, there's just a couple, like we were waiting to get back some emails from, you know, places that hadn't sent their stuff. And um, while we're in Boston, I want you guys to keep track late. of how many people come up to you and say, Hey, I'm listening to you right now as we're there. Because that, that happened last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I love that when I'm running 
And I get a nod and someone points at their ears. And I'm like, ah, that's crazy. You're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are listening to this podcast during the Boston Marathon, you should definitely let us know. Yeah. Maybe. You're a champion. We'll give you a shout out for sure. Yeah. I will send Lynn to your house. <laughs> Jarrett with boxes of donuts will show up like a donut fairy to your Actually, house. that's a contest we should do. We should have a thing where we send Jarrett someplace based on, you know, if you achieve these goals. Maybe it's during grid or something. Mm -hmm. And we will have Jarrett, Jarrett at your house? and make custom donuts. This is It'll come with a donut bar. Can you make custom Book donuts? There's got to be a donut bar. You're the cook. Right? Like the you baker. just dip yeah. the top. I don't make donuts. Dip it in the yeah. toppings. Remember when that used to be a thing, though, where people would, like, giveaways or prizes would just be people showing up at your house? Like sweepstakes, <laughs> like with a giant check. check. Yeah. yeah dude, <laughs> that, that was amazing. Oh, publisher's clearinghouse, man. Always. A, Our accountant did ask us because uh, we spent a large amount of money at running warehouse. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what is this? And I'm like, those were gift cards for oh, right. uh, our, the our reviewers. reviewers and stuff. And he's like, <laughs> all right. Like, how is this a business expense? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's like, what are these gifts? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Cool. All right. Anything else? We got to That's That's long enough. With yeah. the check-ins, we're pushing an hour and a half here. Guess who's doing the check-ins today? Well, everyone knows already, but so I guess they... Did we say Jared? Jared. We didn't... No, but... They've the, been uh, listening. Yeah. By the time the podcast then. Okay. I'm done the check-ins. <laughs> Thanks, Jared, for doing the check-ins. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, Carl, thanks for editing this up. <laughs> Leave that in there. <laughs>